Today, I want to talk about parallel major and minor. The idea is that for every major scale, there is a parallel minor scale. And the example I'm using today is a Spanish Christmas carol that was first published in 1904, composed by José Ramón Gómez with lyrics by Juan Francisco Muñoz y Babón. It's called A la Nanita Nana, and it's sung like a lullaby for the baby Jesus. It goes like this. Fuentesía que cores clara y sonora, Ruiz Señor que en la selva cantando lloras, calla mientras la cuna se balancea. A la nanita nana, nanita ea. The part we are most interested in today is right here, where the key signature changes from three flats to no sharps or flats. You probably also heard it in the music too. The feeling of the music changed, so what happened? Well, if we look at this first part, we have a key signature with three flats. Without looking at any of the music, we would say this is in E flat major. But once we start looking closer at the music, we see that it keeps coming back to this C natural as the center of the music. It starts on C natural, and at the end of the phrase, it ends on C natural. So the music is telling us that C natural is more important than E flat in this piece. If we look at the E flat major scale, C natural is here. It's the sixth scale degree. Now, what if, since the music is telling us that C natural is so important, we use that C natural as a starting note of the scale, but we use the E flat major key signature to fill out the rest of the notes. This is what we get. This is the C natural minor scale. We can also check this by doing the three half step trick. So to find a key signature of any minor key, start on the minor tonic, in this case, C natural, and go up three half steps. This is the major key signature you will use for the minor scale, in this case, E flat major. So the C minor scale uses the same key signature as E flat major. And this is true for any other minor scale. If we want to know the key signature for E minor, we start on E and go up three half steps, and we get G. So E minor uses the same key signature as G major. Now that we know this first part is in C minor, what happens in the second part? Well, we see that the key signature changes from three flats to no sharps or flats. We can also see that C natural and G natural are two of the more important notes in the melody. So we can safely say that this section of the music is in C major. You can also hear this in the accompaniment part, which is playing a C major chord and a G major chord in this section, which very much implies C major as the key for this section. The last section of the music returns to three flats and the C minor we saw in the beginning. So the music has this overall transition from C minor to C major back to C minor. When you have two scales that start on the same note, the same tonic, but one is minor, and the other is major, they are called parallel keys. C minor is the parallel minor of C major. And 
every major scale has a parallel minor. So for each of the 12 major keys, you have a parallel minor key. So why do we see this parallel major and minor in this piece? Well, it's a way to change the feeling of the music. Minor keys are more associated with feelings of sadness, feelings of longing, feelings of loss, while major keys are more associated with feelings of happiness, hopefulness, and contentedness. So it's really a tool for the composer to add different emotions to the music. And you see this mirrored in the lyrics as well. When the music is in a minor key, the lyrics describe a baby that is sleepy, but not asleep just yet. So a baby that is probably crying or fussy. Mi niño tiene sueño means my baby is tired. And calla mientras la cuna se balancea means stay quiet while the bassinet rocks back and forth. In contrast, while the music is in a major key, the lyrics are describing happy, peaceful scenes, like Fuentesia que cores clara y sonora, which is describing a babbling brook or a small fountain, and Ruiseñor que en la selva cantando lloras, which is describing a songbird singing in the jungle. So the lyrics are reinforcing the implied emotions of the parallel major key and minor key. I hope this helped you learn a bit more about parallel keys and how to identify them. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I also have the full sheet music available for this on my Patreon if you would like to check that out in the link in the description. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.